What's going on everyone, All Star Pokemon here coming at you with another video. Today's video, I will be doing a EX Pokemon card review of the Primal Clash EX Pokemon I have. I have several of them. Um, I've made a, well I've pulled a bunch of cards um, without making videos, so I thought I'd make a video to share with you guys. And also with that, I have a whole bunch of code cards to give away. So later in the video, I'll explain how you guys can be getting these code cards. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First EX card I'm going to talk about is this Kyogre EX. This is the normal art version. Uh, Kyogre EX has two attacks, Water Pulse, Giant Whirlpool, which do good damage and have good abilities. It has 180 HP, which is pretty standard for the EX Pokemon. And overall, it's a pretty good card. Super cool. The next card is the full art version, the full art Kyogre EX. And then as you can see, the Pokemon takes up the whole of the card here and its artwork, which is a much cooler looking card. It's the same exact card in terms of attacks, HP, and retreat, weakness, all that sort of thing, just different art. I'll go ahead and show them side by side so you can see. And I've pulled all these cards myself out of Primal Clash packs. I've had very good success, as you can see here from the Mega, or the Primal Kyogre EX, which evolves from Kyogre EX. It has one attack, Tidal Storm, which is 150 damage and 30 damage to all your opponent's EX Pokemon. 240 HP, which is average for a Mega Evolution, with the Growth Ancient Trait ability, you get a little bit of extra abilities with this card. So I can show these two together here. Don't have the full art vo version of this card, so hopefully I'll pull one soon. Groudon EX Full Art is another card that I have pulled from the Primal Clash series. Two attacks, Rip Claw does 30 damage and discards an energy card from your opponent's Pokemon and Massive Rend for 130 damage. So it, it, it kinda hangs right up there with Kyogre EX. Definitely an awesome card. His Mega Evolution, Primal Groudon EX, is also a very good card to have. As you can see, his one attack, Gaia Volcano, does 100 damage plus 100 more damage if there's a Stadium card in play. He also has 240 HP and his ability, Barrier, prevents any effects from trainer cards um, onto this Pokemon, so definitely, definitely good to have. One of my favorite cards from this set is definitely Agron EX. Don't have the full art version, so hopefully you guys will see me pull that card. Two attacks, Steel Headbutt and Raging Hammer, both of them have opportunities to deal lots of damage. Um, so this card is basically a heavy hitter if he's if you're going to use him in the TCG. And his Mega Evolution, Mega Agron EX, which if you watch my Booster Box opening video, you saw me pull this card. This is the full art version of Mega Agron EX. It's Megaton Slam does 120 damage with the potential to do 120 more damage, allowing him to knock out and one hit a Mega Evolution Pokemon, which is pretty insane in terms of um, the TCG so definitely a cool card and definitely a popular card in the series also have a camera up EX which is a pretty standard EX cards his attacks um, are okay tumbling attack kinda on the low end of damage with the potential of doing 60 an explosive jet although can do a lot of damage it makes you discard a lot of fire energies which can be troublesome but definitely a cool looking card to have. Another very popular card in this series is a Whale Lord EX. His high attack of 5 water energies for 120 damage makes him a very slow Pokemon, but 250 HP means that he's going to wall for your team as long as any other card could ever do. I think it's the this is the highest HP of any Pokemon card as of now, but I'm not too sure about that. But definitely a popular card. The full art card of um, version of this card, which I don't have, is also extremely popular and valuable. Also have a Sharpedo EX, which is an awesome card. It has low HP for an EX Pokemon, but also a low retreat cost, so you're able to 
move him around more. His two attacks, Hunt and Jagged Fang, work well together in that he can deal a lot of damage very quickly. I think the only dark EX Pokemon of the series, so definitely a good one to have. There's also Trevorant EX. So you kind of push it down. And the, there we go, that looks better. Trevorant EX. Um, the artwork of this card is really cool. I love the purple on the outside and the green on the end kind of blend together there. The full art version of this card, which I also don't have, I miss a lot of the full arts, is an awesome card. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Hopefully I'll pull one soon. His two attacks, Dark Force and Wood Blast, allow him to uh, deal a lot of damage and keep the other Pokemon from retreating. Awesome card. And then, pro and then the last two cards I'm going to be talking about is, are definitely the most sought after and expensive cards in the series is uh, Mega Gardevoir EX. Um, it, it has a lot of fanboy nostalgia from, you know, the, the, the Game Boy games and, and Gardevoir being a very popular Pokemon. And it's also a, a strong card in the TCG. Although it has low HP for Mega Pokemon, it can do a high amount of damage. 30 damage times the amount of fairy energy attached to all your Pokemon. And the only more expensive card than this one in the Primal Clash set is the full art version of Mega Gardevoir EX, which I do have here, and this is, I'm telling you, a really good looking card. As you can see, right when I pulled it out of a booster pack, straight into a sleeve, straight into a tumbler, or a top loader. Um, this probably goes for around $25 to $30 online, so it's definitely a good card to have from the series. And that's all the EX Pokemon I have right now. Um, I will be opening more Primal Clash booster packs so you can check out those videos and hopefully I'll pull some of those full arts I'm missing. So if you got any questions about these EX cards, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And we'll move on here to these code cards that I have. I have a lot of code cards because I've been opening a lot of booster packs kind of behind the scenes without making videos. And I don't need all these, so I'm definitely looking to give some away. So I'll go ahead and throw one up here right now, so someone can claim that right away. As for the rest of them, it's pretty easy guys. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and send me a personal message or comment on the video, and I will send you one of these code cards. I have a lot to give away, um, and if you already subscribe, just comment or send me a message and I will uh, send you one anyway. Make sure you get another one. So thanks for watching guys, definitely check out my other videos, I plan to be posting a lot um, now that my kind of my schedule's kind of been freeing up a little, so definitely keep an eye out for upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys next time.